The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart and that people listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Sisters and brothers, we bow our heads and just say thank you to God. We're now in the last month of the year. We made it. We're now on the home stretch, nearing the finish line. Whatever you've gone through these past 11 months, you bring them all to the Lord and just say thank you, God, for everything good or bad, happy or sad. Just be grateful. Gratitude is the best attitude. And as for what will come, trust is the best attitude. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. And I hope you can tell the Lord today, Lord, I am so blessed. Just tell him, I know I am blessed. Including trials and deprivations, poverty, whatever it is, sickness. Still, I am so blessed and I want to be a blessing to other people as well. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. So sisters and brothers, December. Kumbaga sa elevator, nasa 12th floor na tayo. You step into the 12th floor already. And again, that in itself is a reason to give thanks. Maraming salamat po. And uh, today the gospel simply tells us, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. More and more, I realize the importance of God's Word. Not our own analysis, not our own understanding. You hold on to God's Word. I don't know, madalas po, I've told you and asked you, and I'd like to ask you again, kung nagtitimpla ka ng coffee, do you use your right hand or your left hand? Right hand, left hand. Me, I use a uh, kucharita. <laughs> Mainit kaya yung coffee. And I always point out, hey, don't forget humor. Tama po yun. But you know, the deeper meaning of that is this. You have to use something aside from your hands. Aside from your efforts. And for me, that's the word of God. If you have problems, palaging kamay mo lang ginagamit mo to solve everything, to analyze it. May need. But if you use a kutsarita, in this case, the Word of God, 
mas magaan po. I hope you learn now, by now, na everything falls into place when you begin to have that mindset of God. And you're guided by the Word of God. For me, and I'd like to ask you now also, what is it that gives you strength whenever you face any problem? A Word of God. Try to own. What is it that keeps you going and once that Word of God comes, ah, everything falls into place now. For me, po, Psalm 46.10 Be still and know that I am God. What a beautiful effect once you, oh nga pala, you are God. I'm not God. Claro na. I begin to understand. Okay, there is a God. I'm not Him. This is something which really makes me realize that the Word of God will not pass away. So my wish for all of us, may you be guided by God's Word. As you journey on, a lamp before my feet. That's the one. Look at that. You are sick. And you panic, you want to get well. Siyempre, nandun yun, human nature. But the Lord tells you, be still. What does it mean? Hindi ka nagagalaw, hindi mo naayusin. No, you continue that, but be assured that I am with you. So you become more peaceful. O nga pala. Don't panic. Relax lang. <laughs> Paano ko magre-relax, Lord? Cancer na itong dinadaanan ko. Whatever you're going through, just say, okay, you are with me. 50% already of your problem is solved. But the more you panic, the more you, ang dami kang ginagawang, lalo itong nagugulo. Sisters and brothers, I, what is it? Money? Who of us doesn't have problems with money? Panic ka, and then uh, dami kang complaints sa ibang tao, bakit sila ganun, ganun. Just relax lang. Do what you can. Trust the Lord. And this is my prayer for all of us. This is what the sacred art tells us all. Come to me. All you are tired or heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Learn that, please. Why dog Bruce? He's so relaxed. Wala siyang problema. Hindi ko nakita na high blood yan, na stress, nagtampo. Just still. Because he knows the master. He knows the people are here. May I digress a little bit? You know, Bruce was given to me by the Valino family. And when he was three months old, we lost him. He went out of Christ the King. Crossed Erod. Three days he was away. I thank God. The Ligasto family found him. Kinup Kupsha. And today, Mandy, you're here. I want to thank you and your family. And Mandy, I would like to tell you again, this time of your life, be still and know that I am God. Mandy left Mandy, the wife of Mandy Fritz, passed away two weeks ago. And her daughter, Amanda, is very sick now in St. Luke's. What do you tell Mandy? Mandy, I just want to tell you again, be still. Know that I am God. 
I have plans. And that's all I want you to hold on to. The Word of God. Just babad lang sa salita ng Diyos. Be still means you don't talk so much about many things. You just, okay. Enough for me to know that you are there and that you love me. Many times when I would walk and when Bruce was younger, you know, makulit siya, and he would chase cats and all that. And one time he went to the bush and he could not get out there anymore. And many times I would try to get him out and parang hindi siya ko, nagre-resist siya. But then I pat him and pag nag-relax na siya, then I was able to take him out. The more you are overreacting to things or people around you, the more you make the water, di ba? Nagiging mas malabo yung tubig sa andami kang. But you become still, things fall into place. Somebody told us when I was learning Korean, the secret of learning a language is don't try too hard. Somebody said, it's like, the butterfly. The more you chase the butterfly, the more it runs away. But you be still, sit down, the butterfly will settle on your shoulder. Maybe that's what it means. So today, mga kapatid, whatever it is, you have problems with family members, just be still. Wag mong patulan lahat. Choose your battles. You don't have to fight every battle. You have to, have to correct every wrong. Walang mangyayari. But you just still and know that God is there. He will do. He will do everything. And whatever you can do, do no matter how little, just do it. But don't get so... Uh, what do you call it? Nalulunod ka na sa lahat ng mga kuhan. Kasi there are times we just say, be still. When you're drowning, <laughs> the more you panic, the more you, you go down. When you're drowning, all you have to do is to make sure that your nose is above water. Many of us go through life with below water, toxic palagi. If you just raise your eyes, your nose is already above water. So you know, siguro. Many problems in this world we cannot solve. But what is important is you have the Word of God, the presence of God. And that's okay. A lot of things will fall into place as soon as you realize who is God. You are not God. I am not God. We have a God. Mayroon tayong kutsarita. Please don't forget that. Yeah? It's one of the most simple lessons in life I hope you have learned by now is let go and let God. The letting go is difficult. Our missionaries leaving every time they say goodbye, it's painful. Young people, newly ordained, going to Africa, going to South America, is Timor. They don't know what's up ahead there. Most of them traveling for the first time abroad. Letting go. You can let go if you let God. Tanong po, what is it na hindi mo ma let go, let go? Now. Could be a problem, could be a bad habit, a bad relationship, whatever or unforgiveness let go but remember this you can really let go if you know how to let God and the key there is be still know that I am God and it goes further know that I am with you always and in always and know that I love you. Mama 
Mary. Let's learn from this humble, gentle woman, peaceful woman. She found peace in God's will and in God's presence. This is my prayer for all of us. More peaceful life. Huwag ka nang daming wino-worry. Worry ka nang worry. What does the Word of God tell you again? Look at the birds in the air. They neither sow nor reap, but your Father takes care of them. Worry about health. Mm. He's the greatest healer. You believe that. Don't panic. Just... Sige, the more you worry, the more you hurry to the cemetery. Be still, know that I am God. Whatever it is, in your grief, how do you explain why people die at this age and not at that age? Why? Sometimes you can say, why, why do evil seem to prosper? I'm sure we all think about that. Yung mga masasama, sila ang ganda-ganda ng buhay. I'm sure we all think about that. Again, the Lord tells us, be still. I know everything. I see everything. I know the score. There is justice. So, this is my prayer for us all. May the Word of God, may the presence of God bring peace in our hearts, in our minds, in our lives. Let's bow your head now and today as we thank God for His presence, His love that He is offering to us every day. We also say, sorry Lord, for the times we forget You. We rely on ourselves, on our own resources. We rely on our own connections. We rely on our own understanding. Patawad po, Lord, in our insecurities, we hold on to the things of this world instead of holding on to you. At sa kayabangan namin, pati sa inyo, we forget to consult you. We forget to just be still before you. Remember, everything, everyone will pass away. There's nothing permanent in this life except the love of God, except the Word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Thank you, Mama Mary. Teach us to magnify the Lord, to make God bigger than our problems, to make God bigger than our hurts, to make God bigger than our sickness, to make God bigger than our material possessions. He is the source of all that we have and all that we are. Thank you, Lord. From now on, we'll hold on to your presence and to your love as we journey on. Marpati, peaceful journey. God is with us all the way. Be still and know that I am God. Amen, Lord. And amen. We honor Mama Mary, our mother and model of humility and trust in God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is
should remember our departed relatives and friends. We pray for them to turn our rest, grant unto them, O Lord, let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. And today, we thank also our guardian angels. Angels to, who, who continue to protect us from sickness, accidents, from bad people, from bad decisions, bad habits. Thank you, guardian angels. Angel of God, my guardian dear. And sisters and brothers, before we go on, you and I are bearers of God's word. So now may I ask you, just tell the person beside you now, pwede mong akbayan ng konti, be still, know that He is God. Relax ka lang. Amen. We have a God. 